Eden, congratulations on Tell Me Everything. How does it feel to have it out there for people to watch? Um, really weird and really exciting. You know, it's um, it's something I've kind of talked about for so long and, and now it's here. Um, but yeah, it's so exciting to, for, for people to see the work that we've done and, and, and hear people's reactions to it, I think. What has the reaction been? I think positive. I think yeah. so. I hope so. Mine um, is. Mine is. I think it's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, I think it's been positive and, and people are, are relating to it, which is what I always wanted from it, is is for them to be able to to see something of themselves in, in any of the characters. Um, I've heard you say it was the best self-tape I've ever read. I instantly clicked with it. What was it about this self-tape that made you go, mm-hmm, I get this? Um... <sighs> It's weird because it felt it felt honest and it felt raw. And I think so many times when you're doing self tapes, it's like they have boxes that they sort of want you to tick. Um, and this just wasn't like that. It felt like you were just reading that someone's kind of thoughts on on a page, and you had the opportunity to put it out for yourself. And that was so exciting. Um, and it was a monologue as well, which was kind of weird because normally you're gonna having to film it with your mum or something like that, and you're like, "Mom, please say the line like this." But uh, but it was it was nice just to like let this kind of stream of consciousness sort of flow and and explore the character that way. I think. How do you find that whole safe self tape experience? Because that's the road that auditions seem to be going down. And I'd say there's positives and negatives. Because I'd say walking into a room with all these people looking at you can be overwhelming. But the self tape, you're doing it with you know no reaction and getting your mum sometimes to help you film it. <laughs> yeah, ninety percent of the time it's my mum. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's so so weird. You know, it's it's kind of really artificial in that like you know everyone does so many takes until it's perfect and that's not really you know what acting is but that's the way the industry's moving and it's just about getting used to it and it's about kind of figuring out the equilibrium between kind of getting like a perfectly lit perfectly kind of thing self-tape and then also keeping the kind of uh spontaneity but yeah it's a skill in itself and it takes like a long time to master I think yeah, especially when you're going for a role like this that you said was so raw, so you don't want it looking perfect either, but you want no. that 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 balance between gritty and, look, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's weird. It's weird because I, I always kind of had longer hair and for this tape, like, I'd, I'd, I'd done, like, a buzz cut, like, just, just because it was a terrible buzz cut, but it was... Um, <laughs> But I kind of come into the tape with this, like, you know, this buzz cut and this earring, and, and I think that really helped me in terms of the rawness of it, but... As I say, you know, you just get lucky at, at, at lucky points, and this is one of those that was kind of perfect for the character at the time. So you sent in the tape. You get. The, I, I know it's not this simple, but you get the call and you find <laughs> out you got the role. Um, yeah. Where were you when you found out, and how did you react? I was eating lunch, I think, which I left, and my dog ended up eating the lunch. So, uh, <laughs> but no, it was it was amazing, really. I mean, I mean. Because I, I thought almost definitely that I hadn't got it because, you know, there were there were two or three or four stages. And I remember the last one took like a few weeks to hear back from. And the only thing I'd got was like an email and they were like, oh, how old are you? Like, have you turned 18 yet? And I was like, oh, that's, that's I've lost that. Because it's like, I, I thought, because there's a, a sex scene in it. And I was like, oh, they're not going to let me do it because I'm not 18. Um, so I was like, oh, it's lost, it's lost. And then I got this call and I was like, here's a rejection call. But it was, it was like, oh my God, it was... It was the most amazing thing ever. It was like, you know, until my fun at my dog eating my lunch. Like, <laughs> but 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 you'll take that time and time again. But that, it, yeah. that has to be weird though. You're sitting there going, Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna get this because I haven't turned 18. Fast forward to you being on set, turning yeah. 18. Like, could you have <laughs> ever imagined that? No, that was the weirdest experience ever. I think it was, you know, and there's so much kind of like. I guess hype about where you're going to be and like what you're going to be doing when you're 18 um and then COVID happened and it was like oh but yeah it was the weirdest experience I remember my um my cast and crewmates they got me like this little Vivian Westwood ring which was so sweet of them but wow. I wear that all the time I know it was lovely it was like oh my god but I've um, never had that anything that nice but uh, yeah that was an amazing experience turning 18 on the set yeah so this is your first ever TV role. How are you feeling? Like you get it. It's so exciting. And then you go to bed going, oh, my God, tomorrow yeah. is my first day on set. Can you sleep? Like how are you feeling the night before the big day? I only really remember the night after. I think, I think. I mean, I remember calling my mum the first thing after I'd done it and they're like, that was the best day of my life kind of thing, But um, which was really nice. But I remember the day of, I mean, it was like, 
we had this fun fair scene, which is what the show sort of starts with. And it was like, it was the weirdest thing ever. Cause you know, I'd, I'd never really, I'd, ne- well, I'd never been on set before. And, and suddenly there's like, you know, whatever, there was like 50, 60, 70 extras. And then this huge fun fair that actually works. And it's like, oh, this is, this is what we're doing. This is acting. Um, but yeah, it was the most amazing experience, but of course it's nerve wracking before. And, you go whatever your choice is like is that is that is that right for the character and this is the final chance i have and but yeah it, it all turned out all right in the end i think well this is something you've been training for right so you sort of knew what to expect but there's some things that they can't teach you when you're training what was the most surprising thing for you being on a working set i was well, it sounds really weird but like the fact that people like, hold umbrellas for you is really weird like they'll just they would like come over and they'll just like hold an umbrella over your head. Like if it's, and they're not doing it for you. They're doing it for like the character, the hair and all this stuff. But it's like, you should be having a conversation and some guy, they would just come over and just like hold the umbrella over and be like, what's going on? I'll go, I got it. But um, that's really, it's like the little things. Cause I think, you know, you like, like allow your mind to like wander about the big things and be like, oh, this will be, you know, this will happen. But it's the little things that are just like, this is the, you know, this is a real kind of thing that, that really hit me, I think. And what about the after things? So, you know, you're in there, you're doing your job, you're acting, this is what you wanted to do. And then it's all done. And you come to this part where it's the interviews, the social media, the photo shoots. Like, who tells you how to pose? I'm terrible at taking a photo. I can't imagine what it'd be like doing it professionally. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's weird. It is. I I think no one can kind of tell you exactly how to do it. You've got to make it up as you go along. I think like a lot of this is like faking it till you make it kind of thing. <laughs> and, and you don't realize how much it is until you do it but yeah it's just about learning kind of as it goes but but for me it is it's all very new and it's all I kind of hopefully getting better at it every time I do it but yeah um you you mentioned that you know this tv series is so raw it is and I think this is what I love about it because it's showing you a lot of aspects when it comes to teenage life and one of it is mental health and I love that that's touched upon, but what was that like for you? Not touched upon, it's like it's a core to this, but what was that like for you every day having to access those emotions? What were you like at the end of the day? Um, it was difficult, I think. It, it did take a toll to an extent. Um, you know, I had a great team around me that that kind of looked after me in that regard, but yeah, it's a very raw thing. And and then you add kind of, you know, because of course there's pressure of, of what we're doing here um and and you want to um you want to you want to do a service to the to, to people with it um and so it was difficult you know all this pressure and it was the first time and I, I'd kind of been doing it on set and as as and all that stuff um so yeah it was difficult to make sure that I had time to kind of look after myself you know after these long days but as I say I had like a, a great bunch of people around me and and I was all right but uh but yeah it was it was difficult at times I think I know it's different for everybody, so it's not a you know one size fits all when it comes to mental health. But how do you make sure you look after your mental health? And what did Johnny teach you about looking after your mental health? Yeah, um, I think for me it's it's kind of, I guess the activity of living really, which sounds pretentious, but it's like um, it's not. You know, like, thank you, thank you. But it's like you know physical activity and going out with your friends and like having experiences. Um, that helps me and that's not always possible so you gotta find you gotta find alternatives but keeping yourself busy um which sometimes I'm not very good at but uh but that's that's the main thing for me and I think Johnny is more open in how he kind of bleeds you know um I think that you can see everything Johnny's feeling and sometimes you know people people hide that well um and I think Johnny perhaps um taught me to maybe try not to hide it as well I think so yeah every job you do you take a bit of it with you what mm. piece of this job what piece of Johnny will you be taking with you into your own life I think there's so much really because it's the first time you know every every kind of expectation I have is based off this now and um but yeah I think Johnny I mean he's he's so he's so like me and so dislike me it, it's like you know um which is it it's the weirdest thing I look at him I look at what I did in, in kind of the episodes and I'm like wow is that, is that me you know what I mean like just how I look and how I talk and how I act so it was it was really unique to, to have a character that was so 
different from myself just physically and and how he interacted and where he interacted so um yeah yeah I think I'll just take with me kind of um I guess being able to step out of my own shoes physically and, and personally yeah Will you also take friendships with you because on screen you were all very close did that spill over to off screen yeah, hundred percent. Apparently, it's not a common, but it, it was. I mean, for this, I mean, we we have we've got a WhatsApp group that. What's we, it called? We, what do you call um, your WhatsApp group? Oh, it's boring. Someone asked us that the other day, and it was like, oh, we need to come up with a better name. It's just called Tell Me Everything. It's just called TME. But um, but yeah, we need to come up with a better name. But um, but yeah, no, we use it all the time. Everyone's lovely, and I really get on with everyone. Um, and I think we're very lucky for that. You know, I mean, maybe it's because the cast is so close in age. Um, but yeah, they're all lovely. I love them all. Um, is there hopes for a second series? Have you heard anything? Oh, I don't know. I couldn't say. I couldn't say. If there oh, there's is, a big like, smile on your face. There's a big smile <laughs> on your face. Can I read into no, that? No, I, I genuinely, I don't know. They don't tell me anything. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully. hopefully. Oh, well, let's hope there's a second series because I think series like these are really important. And, you know, while they're important, they're also very entertaining. We need both. And I think you guys got that perfect package. Hopefully. Thank you. Eden, thank you so much and enjoy all of this. Thank you very much. I'll try. Thank Hopefully you. I'll be talking to you for a season two. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>